Hey everyone, it's Richard Lush here with Go Auto Ericsson Nissan. Tonight I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on VDC and how it works, what the purposes are, the benefits, and the functionality. So what is the purpose of VDC? Well, when vehicle operators drive in inclement road conditions, they often encounter dangers such as ice, snow, water, or mud that can cause the vehicle to slide out of control while braking or churning. The purpose of the vehicle dynamic control system is to help the vehicle maintain its intended course of travel and not run off the road. This is particularly useful in our city streets because it's intended for use on driving surfaces that are generally dangerous or difficult. The functions of the vehicle dynamic control system consists of four parts. Wheel speed sensors, brake pressure monitors, steering angle sensors, and yaw rate sensor. The computer analyzes information received from all of these sensors and automatically make the necessary adjustments, applying brake pressure to individual wheels as necessary. Why is this beneficial? Well, drivers who use cars with vehicle dynamic control are safer than those who do not because regardless of skill level, the driver cannot duplicate the benefits of VDC. Automobiles do not give drivers the ability to manually apply the brakes to specific wheels or to distribute brake pressure unevenly through all four wheels. Even if they did, operation of such a system would be too complicated and no driver could react to a sliding vehicle as quickly as the automated system can. Well, to wrap things up folks, if you want to get into a safe vehicle with VDC, come check us out at Ericsson Nissan.